Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Marcus Rashford risk incurring Sarah Jim Ratcliffe's wrath amid report he will resist any attempt to be sold. Manchester United striker Marcus Rashford will resist any attempt by the Red Devils to sell him this summer, according to the Sun. The Old Trafford club are ready to listen to offers for the England international and the majority of their first team stars, except Kobe Maino, Alejandro Garnacho and Rasmus Hoyland. However, Rashford has no plans to leave his boyhood club as he is happy in Manchester. Man United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe is eyeing a major squad overhaul and selling the 26-year-old would raise the most cash as he is an academy graduate. It would also allow the Red Devils to splash more money in the summer, but Rashford, who is under contract until 2028 on a deal worth £325,000 a week, knows no European club will be willing to match those terms. He would prefer to remain at Old Trafford and they face handing him a massive payoff if they try to force him out the door. His decision will incur at Cliff's wrath as failing to move him on will affect their summer transfer plans. With only four spots available for Premier League clubs in the Champions League next term, the Red Devils will now feature in the competition, which would impact their finances. Rashford has only scored eight goals in 40 appearances this term after ending last season with 30 goals in 56 games. He will likely miss out on the England squad for the European Championship in Germany this summer. It appears the Red Devils do not believe he will be able to rediscover his old form and are willing to cut ties with him, but that could prove difficult. Man United star eyed for a transfer to Turkish giants as the club won't activate a close. Manchester United defender Rafael Varane is reportedly a transfer target for Galatasaray ahead of the summer as he nears the end of his contract at Old Trafford, according to Meliat. So it will be interesting to see if Varane fancies a move to Turkey at this stage of his career. Another option for Varane could be a return to his native France. Discussing Varane's future with Cout offside, French football expert Jonathan Johnson said the following, We've seen an interesting scenario develop at Manchester United, who have decided not to trigger the option to extend Rafael Varane's contract by another year, instead hoping to get him to agree to a new deal on reduced wages. I can't see United and Varane agreeing altered terms, so I suspect at this point that we are probably about to see his last few months at Old Trafford if he doesn't get a move. There have been links with Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, and I can confirm that these are real. We know that Bayern looked at Boateng a few months ago and then decided against that move, but they could still do with cover in defense. As already mentioned, Real Madrid might favor someone like Euro over Varane, who would be more of a stopgap solution, but the link isn't too surprising given his past success with the club and the fact that he reported still has a house in Madrid. For the long term, there have been links with Saudi Arabia, but one to keep on sooner rather than later could also be his former club lance. Varane has already retired from international duty and has been very vocal about how he feels players are being run into the ground from applying to many games. He is not someone who really strikes me as a player who is going to look to have a really long career and so it wouldn't surprise me if he wanted to finish his career off where it started at Lanz. I could see him rejoining Lanz for maybe a season or two, and then possibly even calling it a day. Eric Ten Hag provides injury update on five Man United stars, including Bruno Fernandes. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has provided an injury update on five players ahead of the Premier League clash against the Crystal Palace on Monday night. Ten Hag revealed that Scott McTominay is expected to return to training on Saturday and he will be assessed ahead of the Palace game. The Dutch tactician added that Johnny Evans and Anthony Martial are back in team training, but Bruno Fernandes is a doubt after an issue against Burnley. 
Ten Hag told ManUnited.com the following, Scott didn't train so far this week, but I expect him back in training on Saturday, and we have to see if he is 100% available or for a part of the game. After the game versus Burnley, we had an issue with Bruno. He is a doubt for Monday. We all know Bruno never rule him out for any game. He will do his best to be available. Johnny Evans return today for team training. Tomorrow we are off. And then two days until the game, Martial was partly in team training. When pressed on the fitness of Marcus Rashford, the manager said that he has not recovered after his issue against Coventry City and can't confirm when he will be back in a training. The Red Devils are currently 6 in the Premier League with 54 points, only one ahead of Newcastle United, whom they host in the last game in the season. Hence, they can't afford any more slip-ups in the race for Europa League football. Monday's game at Selhurst Park is a must-win for the Mon United. It won't be an easy game for them, considering Palace have picked up 7 points from the last 5 meetings. Eric Ten Hag gives intriguing response to Champions League performance of Mon United misfit Jadon Sancho. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has given an intriguing response to the super performance of Jadon Sancho for loan club Borussia Dortmund in yesterday's Champions League semi-final first leg victory over Paris Saint-Germain. Sancho shone as probably the best player on the pitch against PSG as he caused their defense all sorts of problems throughout the game, giving Dortmund a surprise advantage ahead of the second leg of this tie. It's a bit of an embarrassment for Man United and for Ten Hag in particular, after the club loaned Sancho back to Dortmund in January, following a few months when he was totally out of the first team picture under the current Red Devils management. Still, Ten Hag has given this intriguing response to Sancho's display last night, suggesting the door may not be closed for the England international after all. As quoted by Fabrizio Roman on X, Ten Hag said the following, I am happy for Jadon for his performance yesterday and will see what is going to happen in the future. It will be interesting to see what happens next with Sancho at Old Trafford, but it's hard to imagine the 24-year-old getting a look in while Ten Hag is still in charge. However, there will surely be a big pressure on the Dutch tactician after a highly disappointing campaign, so it may be that that won't be an issue after all, and the player can return to make a fresh start once his loan spell with Dortmund ends this summer. Man United pressing and moving strongly to sign Juventus star Adrian Rabio. Manchester United are planning a fresh move for Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabio, whose contract expires at the end of June. The France international has been long linked with the Red Devils. He was first on their radar in 2022. A deal was agreed with the Bianconeri, but it broke down due to a disagreement over personal terms. This has not ended the speculation linking him with a move to the Old Trafford. La Stampa, via Calcio Mercato, report that the midfielder is drawing interest from the Red Devils as well as Bayern Munich. It's added that United are pressing and moving strongly to land the 29-year-old. Meanwhile, Juventus have placed contract talks with the Frenchman on standby. They will decide his future based on the position of manager Massimiliano Allegri and their qualification for the Champions League. United have been guilty of handing huge wages to experienced stars who are almost past their prime. Rafael Varane, Casimiro and Christian Eriksen are recent examples. With a new management at the helm under Sir Jim Ratcliffe, we don't see the club pursuing a free transfer for Rabiot, who turned 29 at the start of last month. Rabiot has been linked with the Red Devils for the past two summers. Last year, he ended up continuing with the Bianconeri by signing a fresh one-year renewal. The midfielder is now eyeing a pay rise to prolong his stay. We believe his agent is trying to put pressure on Juventus by reigniting the speculation with United. Rabiu, who was praised as extraordinary by David, could still end up in the Premier League with another club. He has a long dream of playing in England.
Manchester United in pole position to sign a Crystal Palace star Michael Oles. Manchester United are reportedly leading the transfer race for Crystal Palace star Michael Oles. The 22-year-old has been a key player for the Eagles since joining them in 2021. In 87 appearances across all competitions, the talented winger has scored 13 goals and contributed 23 assists. His performances haven't gone unnoticed as several Premier League clubs are reportedly keen to secure his services this summer, but ESPN claim that Manchester United are in pole position to sign Oles despite the fact that they will not be able to offer him a Champions League football next season. It's said that a deal for the 22-year-old could cost them between £50 million and £60 million. Finances at Man United are expected to be tight, but the club will look to raise funds for new recruits by selling many players in the summer transfer window. Chelsea thought they had triggered Alice's release clause last summer, but the deal ultimately fell down on a technicality. The Blues could revive their interest in the player, but compliance with the profit and sustainability rules is a big issue for them. Liverpool are also understood to be keen on him, as Mohamed Salah could end up leaving unfilled in the summer. Meanwhile, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal have also been accredited with an interest in the young winger. Man United will submit formal offer for Ronald Araujo if defender shows willingness to leave Barcelona. Manchester United are prepared to make a formal offer to sign Barcelona defender Ronald Araujo if he decides to leave this summer, according to Sport. The Uruguay international has two years left on his contract with the Catalan Giants. The hierarchy are keen on prolonging his stay for another 24 months. However, the Blaugrana are unable to provide a top-level salary amid their financial constraints. There are clubs willing to double Arajo's wages this summer. Arajo previously turned down United in 2022 to pen a new contract, but Sport claimed that the Red Devils continue to remain interested in signing him. United have already informed the players' entourage that they will submit a formal offer if there is a willingness to leave during the next transfer window. The Red Devils are not alone in the pursuit of Araujo, as Bayern Munich brought the possibility of signing the Uruguayan defender at the beginning of the year. The German outfit are aware of Barcelona's long-term interest in Joshua Kimmich. Bayern are open to discussing his exit as long as Arojo moves the other way. Arojo would be a quality replacement for Varane at Man United with his strong ball-playing ability. He is also excellent when it comes to aerial challenges and likes to clear his lines. The centre-back is currently valued at £60 million by transfer market, but it has been reported that the Blaugrana are eyeing close to £80 million to sanction his exit. It seems unlikely that the Red Devils will afford such a huge outlay on the 25-year-old after missing out on qualification for next season's Champions League. The other concern could be Bayern's presence, a swap deal involving Kemmer could be more suitable for Barcelona with manager Xavi craving for an elite defensive midfielder. Hence, a summer deal for Araujo could be difficult to pull off for United. The club are unlikely to pay over the odds under the new management controlled by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.